Geometry Tower Defense, just like many other Tower Defense games, releases seasonal events. With these seasonal events, we usually get event towers. At the time of recording this, there's currently four event towers in the game. That being Kraken Master, Black Hole Gunner, Santa Slay, and Coco Thrower. Unfortunately, I do not have Santa Slay, so I cannot compare it to the other uh, event towers. But in this video, we'll be comparing and ranking all the current event towers that I own. That being the Coco Thrower, Kraken Master, and also Black Hole Gunner. Let's start off with the Coco Thrower. At level 1, it costs $400 to place, has a damage of 7, a cooldown of 1.3, a range of 7, and a total DPS of 5.4. Continuing on to level 2, it has a damage of 14, a cooldown of 1.35, a range of 8, and this upgrade costs $650 for a DPS of 10.4. At level 3, the Coco Thrower gains 22 damage, a cooldown of 1, a range of 10, this upgrade costs $1750 and has a DPS of 22. At level 4, the Coco Thrower has a damage of 36, a cooldown of 0.8, a range of 13, this upgrade costs $3500 and it has a DPS of 45. Finally, at level 5, it has a damage of 160, a cooldown of 0.5, a range of 15, this upgrade costs $15,800 and it has a DPS of 320. Alright, going on to the tier list, don't mind this by the way, I actually think the Coco Thrower is a pretty underrated tower. Due to recent nerfs, people say the Explorer is better. Yes, I do agree with that, but the Explorer lacks the late game potential. The Explorer, yes, is good in the early, mid, and also can be used as sub DPS in the late game. But the Coco Thrower excels at the late game as well, and being kinda decent in the early game as well, I'm gonna have to give it an A tier. I would give it like high A tier, but I don't have that on my tier list. But for me, I really really think the Coco Thrower is one of the most underrated towers and I think it's still good. People really underestimate how good the Coco Thrower can be with charms in the early game. In the late game it can actually shred. I would say it's on par with Ray Blaster. Ray Blaster yes does have more DPS now due to recent rebalances but the Coco Thrower can be used in the early game while the Ray Blaster cannot. So that is why I will give the Coco Thrower an A tier. Going on to the second ever event tower added into Geometry Tower Defense, we have the Black Hole Gunner. At level 1, it has a damage of 8, a cooldown of 2, a range of 10, and a cost of 500, having a DPS of 4. Continuing on to level 2, it has a damage of 16, a cooldown of 2, a range of 10, and a cost of 400, and giving you 8 DPS. This is by far the best upgrade for Black Hole Gunner. You're essentially getting double the DPS than two Black Hole Gunners, for a cost of only $400, $100 cheaper than an actual other Black Hole Gunner. Continuing on to level 3, the Black Hole Gunner has a damage of 36, a cooldown of 2, a range of 12, a cost of 1500 and a DPS of 18. This is by far one of the best value upgrades for the Black Hole Gunner, having a DPS cost ratio of 7.2 for every $1000 spent. Continuing on to level 4, it has a damage of 70, a cooldown of 1.5, a range of 12, a cost of 3,400, and a DPS of 46.7. Going on to level 5, the Black Hole Gunner has a damage of 130, a cooldown of 1, a range of 13, a cost of 7,000, and a DPS of 130. Alright guys, back to the tier list. The Black Hole Gunner is actually pretty cool, I would say. It has amazing value. People really see it as, oh my gosh, early game only. But it has some pretty decent late to mid game potential. I think it's one of the best value towers in the game. People only see it for its level 1. Due to recent nerfs, people saying, Black Hole Gunner shucks now. It really doesn't. I feel like Black Hole Gunner's level, one, uh, level 2, actually, it's a lot better now because it's actually worth it. Back then, the level 2 was just a complete scam. Maybe a bigger scam than level 2 Swordsman. But I think the Black Hole Gunner is still an A tier. It has amazing value, amazing mid to late game potential. If you're looking for more DPS, yeah, get it. But I will not put it in front of the Coco Thrower. The Coco Thrower excels in the end game and does decent in the early, while the Black Hole Gunner does great in the early but falls off mid to late game. So that is why I think the Black Hole Gunner is A but not in head of Coco. I was gonna make an in-depth video about it but when I when I actually got to it, uh, both of them got nerfed. So uh, yeah. Unlike other event towers, the Kraken Master does not attack with a weapon. Instead, the Kraken Master gives various debuffs to the enemies when they land in a trap, not only giving them slow and damage over time, but also giving a bit of damage itself. 
Before we start with the Kraken Master, I gotta note that these tentacles do have a duration. I know they varied from 45 seconds to a maximum 60 seconds, but I don't know what's in between, so I'm not gonna be adding that. But at level 1, the Kraken Master spawns in tentacles with 120 HP. It has a range of 6, a burst of 2 tentacles every spawn, and a cooldown of 16. And this tower costs $1,100 to place. Continuing on to level 2, it spawns in more tentacles, and I'm not joking, it's literally just called more tentacles. But each tentacle has 130 HP, a range of 18, a burst of 2, cooldown of 18, and this upgrade costs $900. Continuing on to level 3, it spawns in improved suction tentacles with 200 HP each, having a range of 18, a burst of 3, a cooldown of 19, and this upgrade costs 2600. At level 4, it gains a slow effect, slowing down any enemies that hits the trap by 10%. With that, you also get stronger tentacles with 300 HP, a range of 21, a burst of 5, a cooldown of 19, and this upgrade costs 5,900. At level 5, the Kraken Master gets some huge stat increases, having a burst of slicks, a slowdown of 25%, and now gains poison damage, which can get up to 70 extra damage, and it does not stack. Having a cooldown on 21, this upgrade costs 8,900, and this spawns in the deadly tentacles with 1,150 HP. Alright, we're back for our tier list again. So, the Kraken Master. It has some great support, but there is some uh, downsides. Its targeting is kind of garbage, as people know. But on maps like Geocade, it excels with um, that. And it's on Neon Mode. Neon Mode has some fast enemies. And Xeno's Realm also has some fast enemies. Its slowdown effect can really help you. The Kraken Master has some great cost efficiency as well. Having like, I don't know, 6,000 per burst. I really think it's an underrated tower. I don't think it needs any changes. So I'll put it in A tier. And I, this may be a little controversial, but I'm going to put it in ahead of the Black O Gunner. Because it's really great. On maps like Ink and also 2D Land, it's absolutely useless, and I do agree. But on like other game modes, it can be some great support. It's not really meant to be DPS or anything or damage. It is just meant to be a supportive, great tower that's great in cost efficiency, support, and etc. I don't think the Kraken Master needs a buff, rework, or whatever. It is perfect as it is. But yeah, what do you guys think? This may look bad, like all the event towers being A tier, but that's actually a good thing. Because if you think about it, if we made all event towers meta, it would just be unfun and unfair to the new players that would join the game, overall ruining the game for many people. Because only Black, Black Hole Gunner only had 6,000 wins, I don't know about Kraken Master, and I don't know about Coco, but still, that's unfair. Locking a meta behind only 6,000 players, it's really stupid in my opinion. So, I think it's a good thing that all the event towers compete with each other for, you know, number one. But I do think Coco Thrower is really underrated, one of the best event towers. Black Hole Gunner has the great value, great everything, Kraken Master. But what do you guys think? Would you rate these any differently? Would you give Coco Thrower C tier or Santa Slay S tier? Because I really don't have it, so I don't know what to do with it. Or, you know, how to rank it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you in the next video. That took, like, six hours to edit. So, uh, buy my merch. Join my Roblox group. Join my Discord, too. In fact, subscribe, to Like, comment, and sub for algorithm. Anyways, catch you in the next video, everyone.